I was always raised with the idea that to whom much is given, much is required. If I've been given all these opportunities in this platform, I might as well use it to create some change and help others along the way. I feel like it would be a disservice to my legacy as an athlete to just go through very single-minded and not leave something behind for the next generation of people following in my footsteps. My name is Kyle Leibner. I'm 23 years old. I am a professional rock climber. A lot of motivation in my climbing was introspective because a lot of times when I, when I walked into my local climbing gyms, when I walked into competitions, when I looked to the idols and the people in the sport that were above me and achieving so much, none of them looked like me. None of them came from backgrounds that I could personally identify with or had journeys that I felt like I could emulate. I just have always felt like each step of the way I was kind of just blazing my own path because I knew that my circumstances were so much different than 99% of anybody who was at the same level as me. I think climbing is so special because it's one of those sports where climbing builds community inherently. I mean, you end up trusting someone else with your life at every step of the way. Not only do you build trust and bond with others, but you're able to do so in the outdoors where everyone feels more connected and tranquil and fulfilled. To gatekeep the outdoors is so contradictory to what it represents, the escapism that climbing represents. I think that making it more accessible for others is just the natural next step in its progression. It's hard not to notice the lack of diversity in climbing and as a person of color, it's even more apparent. And so I wanted to start something where I can make more people aware of the sport and make climbing more accessible for people who look like me, who grew up like me. For most of my life, I've been really focused on competition climbing. When I was in college, I decided to take a bit of a step back from my competition climbing and focus a little bit more on some other ventures, including my nonprofit, Climbing for Change. The mission of Climbing for Change is creating opportunities for low-income communities of color within the outdoors and promoting diversity, equity, and inclusion. So this week is the Outdoor Retailer Show, and uh, Climbing for Change will have a booth, and as the CEO, I will be keynote speaking. A lot of people of color have been pigeonholed into specific avenues and careers that we're allowed to prosper in because we've been discriminated against and excluded from other spaces. And I'll never forget going to school and being made fun of and teased and told I was weird and different and trying to act white all because I was trying to do something that was unconventional. But I, I knew that I had found something that was special for me in rock climbing, something that connected with me in a way that I had never done with any other activity. I had to get through all those things just to make my way into this industry. And so just because I made it, luckily, does not mean that things are getting better. At the end of the day, we have a lot of work to do. I think that representation 
matters so much because it's really hard to enter a space that not only are you unfamiliar with, but you've never seen anyone succeed in it or seen anyone at the top of the sport or even in your local climbing gyms that you feel like you can look up to. And so I want to be able to create that image so when the next young black climber opens up a climbing magazine and looks into who's doing what, they see my smiling face in the, on the, in the, in the inside and, and really are able to, to, to have someone to look up to, a role model. I hope when they open up at Climbing Magazine, they see a plethora of, of black and brown faces looking back at them, accomplishing great things and showing them that this path is for you and this industry is for you as well.